Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria Doom, your host, Mr. Chi Empire Level. But right now, we're doing okay on the economy. It's 1919. I'm spending a lot of time just not doing anything off the screen just because, well, I'm preparing for what could be the war to end all wars, especially concerning, uh, well, actually, Indochina, or Indonesia, I don't know. Um, especially where, oh, hello, France, uh, especially the UK. Oh, they're actually fighting. Oh. A bunch of Indian states. Anyways, uh, regardless, we got some uh, things here, some decisions to make, such as economic reforms in the Uzbek homeland. For years, the Uzbek lands have been occupied by nomads that lived off subsistence farming and trade with other type of steppes people. With the insertion of these lands in the global market, the Qing Empire specialists and bankers conducted a series of viability studies to determine what crops could be grown for the benefit of the Qing Empire to contribute to its exports and industry and what kind of investments are needed to make this happen. With well, the conclusion of these works, the only obstacle to these changes are the necessary investments. Lose some money? Why not? And the same thing with the Tajik homeland. Coal, the precious, oh, precious metal, oh yes, yes please. Pretty much, thank you very much. Now, we're still not shiny yet, we're still hanging out. We cannot form Turkish Sandwich, does kind of suck, but whatever. Um, oh, also, off screen, I did puppet uh, these guys, Afghanistan, because, why not? Actually, Sphere Map Mode, not too bad. British Empire is way too much, who is this? Oh, Sphere of Japan. Yeah, Japan's kind of doesn't have much here. Oh, uh, you, know, you know what? We should probably have them under us as well, as well as this group too. Tenu Tuba, if they're under us, should be with us. Um, additionally... Oh, actually, Austria-Hungary is not doing too badly. Finland and Italy? Huh. Regardless, I do want to show you this before we fade and fade out. The culture map mode. Obviously, Europe is Irish here in Southampton. Okay, whatever. Um, I love this map mode. This is my favorite map mode ever. I love the culture map mode so much. But, we have a lot of Kurds, which makes a lot of sense. We have Armenians in this part of Turkey, alright. Um, got quite a few Russians and what was Persia, but the thing about us, our accepted cultures are Manchu as well as North Han. So this is becoming much more Chinese up here. Even though we got Chinese down here, they're not accepted cultures yet, and I don't think they ever will be at this point. But regardless, of course, Tibetans went up. But look at Southeast Asia. Now, of course, we have Vietnamese. Oh, along here, oh, 32% Vietnamese. Oh, would you look at that? 42% Chinese. Look at how. Chinese, forty percent, fifty-six percent actually Chinese here. It almost looks like there's, and Khmer, of course, Cambodian and whatnot. You could roughly say there's more Chinese people down here than actual Vietnamese or Khmer or Hmong or whatever it is. Overall, like twenty-six percent, that's not small. Down here is majority with forty-seven percent Chinese. Over here is sixty-six, sixty-six percent Chinese. That's insane to see how much our population has just like moved. I love this map mode so much. We got Hakka up, up here as well, but just there's more Asian Chinese. There's like 40, is that 67 percent down here in Cochin China of all things in Cochin China. And to me, that's just kind of insane. But we have some comments good before we fade and fade out, such as uh, "To the Madness of Dreaming," we chant a song. Someone says, "I love your series on the Qing." Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, someone else says, you don't have enough jingoism to add war goals in the past wars from the last episode. Someone says, the only recommendation I can make is to reform and standardize your army as our regulars are completely trash when you have anything else, and cavalry should only number in maybe two or three per army for flanking bonuses. Besides that, cannons and infantry should make up the bulk of your uh, forces, so, yeah, that's true. Uh, someone is and he's also asking, like, <clears throat> we don't understand why you're making a large navy. It doesn't make any sense unless you go to war with the UK or the Japanese. <laughs> well, those are the two goals we got. I do want to go to war, don't get me wrong. I do want to go to war with the good old folks to the north of us again. The Russian. They fall in a certain way. Actually, they're only allied with the French. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, actually, what if we were to take a look here? They're ninth, they're ninth in the world. You know... We might just try to start a little something something here. Well, everyone, war is upon us. The Qing Empire is said to a war with one of the great powers of the world in a modern age where warfare has the capability of killing you a couple million. The very future of our nation could be at stake. This call has gone out to the Qing people. Put aside your petty differences, your day-to-day -day lives, and your personal ambitions. The Qing Empire must pull together in this our hour of need. Stay to the war. So, uh, let's take a look. So, a war with Russia, and we want to dismantle them. Uh, we called in our, you know, puppets. And now we're at war with the British as well, of course. So, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can do something here. My god, I hope we can do something here and not die along the way, but... You know what? You never know. Pegu, come down there. Um, you guys go down there. I want you guys to start heading down there, go there. It looks like they're trying to build up more forces. 
But you never know. The of Shanghai and Russia itself. We'll see how we do, you know. I hope we do well, but some things always go astray. Roman Gurko, eh? And we do have quite a few divisions around here. We have still have armies stationed in Afghanistan. Aktobe. We'll see what we can do. Uh, Krasnodav from there. Um, just gonna hang out in the mountains if we can. And see what we can do. Alright, so at least in this war we have Austria, Hungary, Japan, and the German Empire, and the Netherlands. And watch out, we got Mongolia on our side too. Um, to help us out, so we'll see what happens. Uh, hope, I just hope we do well. Who hopes to do poorly? I don't. And actually, if you guys are still moving around, huh? All right. No. Just gotta keep an eye on everything, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna miss some tiles here. I know I am. Oh boy. What's this? No. Chimikan. Nice. Well, there goes the economy. We didn't have that much money anyways. We're still trying to get infiltration. But, hey, at least 83% of our people can read. So, that's pretty nice. We're trying to build up a navy too, but it's it's definitely still going. We got plenty of reserve divisions just in case. People all around here are located too. Magua. Nice. Rangoon. Uh, Kingdom of Josen. Yes. Oh, command. Oh, we could command units too. We could if we really wanted to. Um, the war's not going well enough for us to add any war goals yet. Oh, and they're the Labour Party. Actually, Germany also has the Socialist Party. Conservatives, led by the Working Party. Conservatives, Liberal Party. Oh, oh my god. How is Denmark a great power? How? How much has the world fallen where Denmark is a great power? That is just not right. There you go, nice. <coughs> now I'm going to turn you guys up north just because I know they're going to have a lot of armies up here. Oh, yeah. We have you guys here, too. Oh, thanks for trying to help out, guys. Appreciate it. Oh! Hello, good sir. I knew something like this would happen. And you guys go there. Um, hello. Oh, boy. Kaisel? Well, they're gonna... Well, they get smacked down just a wee bit. Ah, Shanghai. Good. Good job, guys. And just in case, we're gonna have rebels eventually. We don't have that much militancy, which is actually pretty nice, but still. There's booty. Uh, actually, go to there. All right, we've got one more day going. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, they actually have gas. Ooh, we don't have gas. Ooh, that's my bad. I forgot about that. They actually have gas. Wait, what? How do we lose the Battle of Kaisel? We just died instantly. We had no entrenchment, huh? Well, you know what? Do we have any spare armies uh, around here? Yeah. You know what? We'll surround them. And force them to attack us. We need one in Bulgan now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. We gotta go slow then. There you go. Wow, we lost... How? Do, how? Oh, it's because of gas. That's why. My bad. Forgot about that whole thing. Yeah. Well, at least... They may be literally destroying like entire army units. Of ours. Hello. Yeah, this army's gonna be dead. Oh! Whoa! Greece, Denmark, Bob. Denmark. Denmark. Well, it was World War One. Oh, but the Austro-Hungarians are, are gonna be doing some serious work against these guys, which would be nice. How did I forget about that? Oh, we have war with Persia too. Oh, god dang it. Okay, so who's actually in the stupid war here? Why is it minus 19,000? What? Battles? Oh, our allies have been losing a lot of battles then. I guess we'll wait and see. God. Forgot about gas attack and gas defense and stuff like that. Um, come down here. Kuala Lumpur. Bauru. It's fine. Come up here too. They wanted it. Sure. What? Amonsk? That's my fault. Which one is gas? Oh, it's military direction, isn't it? 
God dang it. Well, I, I don't know how long that's going to actually last, because this is going to... They're also fighting the Romanians, which is pretty nice as well, so... Peshawar, they're going to Peshawar as well. Uh, they still have quite a few... If we all go to Peshawar... Oh, yep. Should do okay. I, I really don't want to have to mobilize. I really don't. We're going to need more divisions anyways. There we go. There you go. Do that too. Kind of not looking so great right now. It is what it is. Yurolsk, Orenburg. I know that place. I've heard of that one before. Enemy of my enemy. Do it. Who's this? Yeah, might as well. Zombie has agreed. Yay! They want Patani? Oh, you're not going to get anything out of this war, you pieces of doo-doo. We'll figure out how, what this whole gas defense thing is like, eventually. They're going to lose the entire subcontinent, but then again, I guess it doesn't really matter to them. Where are they going? Keta? Keta. Oh, whoops, my bad. Bloody strike? Ooh. Alright, well, whatever. Do what we can. Is it possible to lock gas defense even without having the research done? I hope it is. Good job, guys. Uh, I don't like that you can't get out of battles fast enough. That's stupid. I think that's incredibly stupid. And mismanaged. You guys are a civilized nation. Alright, tax efficiency is nice, but not gonna help us against gas defense. Or gas attacks, I guess. Oh, the Germans are here. Yeah, Russia, you're not gonna be able to do anything against these guys. I hope Germany was able to do. do well, they kinda suck. Yeah, no, let's see. We'll see. They're only secondary power. I mean, Russia wasn't gonna be. The main threat, anyways. Well, at least we get infiltration done. I can't believe I forgot gas defense. Jesus. Of all things, I'm always, always so on top of it. Always, 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 always. It's not this time. That's completely my fault. I'll let the Japanese take care of that stuff. Oh, crap. My god. Um, yeah, it's mountains. Don't attack them there. <clears throat> Alright, so, so far, not looking too bad here. Um... Well, at least our industry over here is not going to be very good anymore. Even though I can't imagine they had a lot of industry. And we're some horse boy over here, huh? Well, here. Do you actually have any... Yeah, they do have a little bit of recon here. Stay here. Nice. Alright, so if that's the case, you guys go over there. I want you to come back just in case over here to deal with any potential rebels. And you just stay on the whole Singaporean island. Stay on Singapore. Uh, keep you guys close by each other. Nice. How do you have such... How are they so weak? I don't understand. How is Austria-Hungary stronger than these guys?
Here, not too much, just getting gas, that's all. The short is good. Nice. Why don't you guys come up there? You guys go to the far one. Stay there for now. We'll hop out Afghanistan in a little bit too. Oh, we actually won a battle, look at that. We don't have a lot of soldiers, but you know, whatever. <coughs> find find them, kill them. They want to gas us, we'll we'll kill them all. Who's this? Ah, oh, the Germans. They look like they lost, probably. Kinda sucks, bro. But whatever. This is not great. Gorgon? Sure. Why not? How's the war going right now? Hey, 30% is not bad. At war goal? Oh, we can install democracy. We lose a lot of prestige, we can't get it, but you know what? If that's the case. War of Unification? Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, Chinese Reunification. Or War of Unification. We get way more prestige. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. Um, you guys go there. You guys go here. You guys go there. Pretty much all of India is at war with us, which is fine. I don't really care. They will fall. They will die. I just wish your navy was ready. We still have one big old enemy to take out after that, though. So you guys are not doing anything, which is a mistake, so. Come to Gala War. Anything else? Yes. Good. Nice. I hope the Indians realize that they just ruined everything they had about them. Like, bro. Anything else up here? No? Alright. October. Oh, these guys still running around. Krasnoyarsk. Yeah, you don't want them alive. Can we just go to it? I understand. Why is it so glitchy? Usually you just click at that and be like, okay, we'll take it there. Um, this is where the frontline system would help out and be very nice, but whatever. Don't have to have it. Don't need no crutches. Actually, I do. Having crutches is nice. Oopsie. Wrong group. There you go. Stay there. Have fun. Maybe at least we linked up. Hey! Kill yourself. This is for earlier, you pieces of Russian doo-doo. You literally wanted to take pieces of land of our nation. Well, how's it feel now, Russia? And I guess Britain, too, but... Whatever. You you might want to go home. Yeah, you you stay home. You you take a rest. Most of you guys are completely dead. Take a rest, huh? Uh, who has time to deal with Colombian issues? We don't. Yeah, I kind of figured it would fail to enlist. There's a literal great war going on. Alright, so other than that. So we have Liberate British South Jiangsu. Chinese Unification is basically the exact same thing. Dismantle Nation, yeah. If we choose to make this world goal, that would really hurt us. If we can dismantle the Brits. Oh my goodness. I, I actually wish we were in charge of the peace deal. We could actually probably get that to happen. So. Nice. We're slowly closing in on them. Yeah, they made a massive mistake by doing this. Oh, we've almost linked up with... Oh, look at... I'll, why is Austria-Hungary so strong? And Poland, what... Are you... Oh, we're allied? Since when we were... Why are we, 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 we allied? What is this? We saw a fascist government in Bahrain. Are you... You feeling okay, Turkey? Yeah, why is Germany so weak? I mean, yeah, I guess they are socialists. And socialists generally don't focus too much on a massive army. Wow. Guys, what's wrong here? Oh, you don't have grass defense either! Oh my goodness! I did not realize that. 
Why are we... Why is... It's one thing if the Chinese don't know how to defend against gas attack, but the Germans? What? What is this timeline? Why do the Germans suck so much? Which ask... I have to ask another question. Why? Like, then who's in charge? Is it really the Germans? Oh god, that's such a bad idea. Still looking good down there. Looking pretty darn decent up here too. I'm actually very pleased with somewhat with how we're doing actually. Not sure what happened to the other armies, but whatever. Mm, don't worry about executions. Don't worry about it. Factory costs, more prestige, very nice. Nice. Hello, good sir. I don't think I've ever really fully sieged down India before. It's a weird feeling. I never think I've ever done this before. I mean, it's not... It's usually never that they're that strong anyways, but still. You guys got it. Come on. Nice. Keep migrating. That's what we do here. Uh, we'll go there too. Very good. Very good. Um, go more days. Elections, who cares? Upper house, rearrange, no one cares. Too busy for that right now. Uh, who gives a crap about elections at a time like this? Kalat? Sure. Hey, there we got that one. Well, we've linked up with the European powers. Hey, European powers. Don't call on us or we'll kill you. I know I'm forgetting some Chinese armies around here somewhere. Oh, look at that. Reforms. Uh, what do people want? Secret ballots, slow subsidies. Well, fine. Well, less than one, one militancy, not bad. Alright, you guys keep going on, keep going on. A lot. Right there. Um, uh, here. This one. Just double check. Anyone have engineers? Where the heck are the engineers? We need engineers. <clears throat> some of our armies. Is this... What is this? One defense, only infantry. They look like these are probably just mobilized soldiers, I'm going to assume. No, I just gotta look on an occasion where everyone else is at. Thank you, sir. Thank you for playing, because now we are literally running out of places to take out, so. We have some serious migrations. I'm gonna actually send you back just in case. Ooh, actually, you need, you need a horse boy. Alright, that's fine. Going back. It's okay, you two. Tehran. Calm. Ah, more organization? More defense? Nice. Very good, guys. Very good. Berjand? There you go. Oh, Romania looking pretty bad right now. Not gonna lie. Looking pretty darn bad. More, even more organization? Sign us up. Better factory costs? Ooh, that sucks. This guy's okay on attack. He's not really that great, but whatever. We'll still take him and use him. Elections. We're actually making some good money, too. Some would say war is a racket, but, you know, whatever. Hello, good sirs. We have a moment to talk about our lord and savior, Confucius. Now we're competing to run out of Russian territory. Go figure. No supply issues up there, huh? Nice. 
Hello. So who pieced him out? What's the war score like? 74%. They want Patani. Great work capitulation. 89, huh? Uh, liberate, acquire Bessarabia. Holy crap, yeah, let's not do these ones. Kiev? Transnistria? Uh. Oh, man, that's a lot of capitulations. Um, as long as we piece them out, I think that's probably the most important thing. We will hopefully be able to. We'll see. Still. Going in and around. Uh, go there. Go there. A lot of armies. <coughs> so many armies. Nice. Uh, maybe. Hold on. You, you you might not want to go that direction. Oh, hello. Oh, good, good to meet y'all. Nice. Oh, we're already down here, huh? Nice. Shiraz. Like if you want, come over to here and build up a port, why not? We'll be port buddies. You, me, and the frickin' cold. That's how we like it. Per Persia's giving us quite a little bit of a run for our money. They're not too My god, we're making a lot of money. Love it. We can lower it a little bit less. Ooh. Yeah, no, no, thank you, sir. Oh, man. Nice. All right, so where are we at so far? 85%. They gotta be getting closer, right? Not accept it. Um, they'd still take that, but we're gonna force them. They would not accept that. Force Russia to dismantle. Uh, we need 43 score, just maybe a little bit more. We might still be able to get it, maybe. We just gotta be a little bit careful as to see how the AI is going to piece them out. Because AI will screw us over if they can. I'm going to send you back home because you're looking just so devastated. Oh, I forgot about this too. Oh, my bad. We're doing so much better than I thought we would. Not saying that I was incompetent in our abilities to wage war, but, you know, we're still China. Nice. Uh, Iraq, Istifan. Took stands fine. Hang out here for now. Yeah, we're running out of places to siege. Mmm, Peking? Patani? Yeah, you want Patani? Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, more population growth. X rays, finally, in 1923. <clears throat> no one's gonna try to invade this group here, huh? Oh, and Denmark is dying too. 87, please, just give it to us. Well, this is literally part of a cultural union, so. What are you doing, Dutch boys? That's fine. That I can get behind. That is A-OK -okay with us. Um, you guys are headed home, which is fine. Turkey was supposed to be allied with us, and then they didn't want to come in, so. What was that? Is that a Jew? No, I thought it was a Jewish state. I'm like, what the heck is the Jewish state wanting with that piece of land? Well, we got them. 
Come back to Hakka. Some of these armies are just looking so bad. Come and hang out on the sunny, sunny shores of Weezow. Oh! We have assumed leadership. Oh. This one piece out? Whoa! Whoa! What happened to Poland? Okay, well, anyways, let's save just in case. Ooh, look at Belgium! They look a little bigger now. Wow, why is France must not be a great power? Yeah, they're a secondary power, no wonder. Whoa. Why does Romang... Romangna still exist? Corsica? Bulgaria. Oh, do this too. They want low subsidies. Well, I don't want low subsidies, so we'll give them healthcare instead, maybe? Here, have healthcare. Oh, wait, what? Did we... No, we're still, we're still war with them. 91% of the way there. Come on, you gotta give it up. That literally makes no sense. We can dismantle the UK. You know what? We'll, we'll push even even farther if we can. Hey, fully funded healthcare. Very nice. Very nice. Um, there's still various bits and parts here that need to be taken out, which is fine, but still. Gives another month to recover. Look at that. Still making a lot of money. I love it. Seventh most prestigious nation in the world. Third grade power. More tax efficiency. Oh, yes, please. And the Liberal Party's won, which is not really a surprise. And military directionism, aeronautics. Are we NCO training? Why not? Oh, hello. No. You literally have nowhere to turn your back to, so. Nice. Yeah, this is very dominating. I think we've got every single tile. At least in Russia. Lithuania do be looking kind of long. Still mobilized. You know what, if we have to? I want to force the UK to dismantle their empire, at the very least. If we can't get this, I don't mind Russia not dismant being dismantled, because we can always go back to war with them later, right? So... And it, and it honestly won't take that long. I mean, our armies are, at this point... We got, <clears throat> we got a lot of guys. <clears throat> and actually, do we have taking war score at all? Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Police state, huh? Oil fields? Old man in the sea, but that was good ahead. Throw the militancy just a little bit. Oh, they have actually only British's except culture. 98. Come on. It's 98. They should honestly accept this. It doesn't make any sense why they would, but. We're gonna send it. At 100%, we're gonna peace out with them. We're at 100%. They have to peace out. Oh, I, I I was right. I was right. They have to peace out at 100%. Oh, we didn't even have to invade the UK. Oh, this is exciting. I did not think we'd be able to do this. Look at all that. So, this is going to happen. We're going to force... Russia will be dismantled. Liberate and get a cultural union. And we're going to get a ton of prestige. The UK is going to dismantle... Prevent from raising armies and lose half of their forces for five years to pay 25% of tax income to us, the Chinese. And then we got a little dismantled construction here and there. Austria is going to get Bessarabia and Kiev and Transnistria. Oh my gosh. Oh, Austria hungry. Jesus Christ, guys. That's disgusting. Holy crap. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put you right there. Because we have to go back to war with the Russians later to dismantle them. Because. They honestly deserve a good dismantling, so. Um, other than that, we do maybe want to figure out uh, some soldiers around here as well, because they will need to be back. Because once Russia dismantled once, once you're dismantled, you really can't come back. It, it's really devastating. It's so devastating, actually, if you get dismantled, so. Put a couple extra armies around here. Um, just prepare yourselves as best you can. Benudinsk. I mean, army, our army's already here, just ready to go, anyways. Uh, 
Uh, are you guys all good? You all know what you're doing. It's good. Um, I'm sure I'm going to leave out an army. Oh, yeah, see, exactly. I left a couple armies here. Korug. Stay in Kabul. Oh, how's it going? We're number one in the world. Oh, my God. We're actually number one. We're the greatest power in the world. Military score. We're only third in industry, but... Bruh. The treaty... Oh. Oh! Did that just pass from, like... Denmark? Wait, why did Denmark get that? They were an enemy. Oh, the UBD's here. United Baltic... They're under the Austro-Hungarians. This is basically kind of kind of like Kaiser right now. Romania really lost out. Oh, Serbia's dead, too. I didn't realize that. Oh, the Ukraine. Half of the Ukraine has been liberated. There's a lot of stuff. Fascists in the Ukraine. I love it when you dismantle nations and empires. Ooh. Armenia, civilization. Kazakhstan. Do be looking a little thick. Why are they under them, though? Um, anything else? Trans no, Transamur. You are led by... They're still fascists for now. Oh, Transcaucasia. The war is over. Long live the Qing Empire. Nice. <sighs> look at that money. Holy crap. Oh, look at those war indemnities. Holy fat stacks. Oh, we're not going to tax the population. Ah, uh, mix it for low people. Low people? Here. Oh, it's still losing money. Okay, god dang it. That sucks. Um, we might still need tax living crap out of you. There you go. Oh, I want to see the UK just destroyed. Oh, e Egypt's here. Look at that. That is so weird. Trans Turkmenistan? Oh, they're a primitive nation, but they're under new jurisdiction, which does kind of suck. I want all of India, man. Hey, we got Shanghai back. Look at that. Level 5 port, nice. Alright, we have to tax some more subpoena then. No tariffs. Number one in the world. What's our score like? Holy fathers. American Liberation of Cuba. Bruh. Um, we are above Germany and the UK now and Austria. We are number one. China, number one. Are you still allied with us? They're the second... Oh, my gosh. We need a lot of ships. You know, that's a blade strike. Oh, that one. You know what? Go back up to some shares. We need some more money. Go to 8%. Um, because we need some transports as well. Troop ships. There you go. Just one massive fleet. Well, who's this? Iceland? Oh. Oh, this looks so disgusting. Dread Boy, well, nice. Koken? Awesome. Haitian Thaw, mobilization impact. Prospector strikes coal? Nice. Still haven't exploded yet. And now that I said that, I hope we don't explode either, but... These guys are still uncivilized, too. So, dismantle the Empire. Oh. Number one industrial power. Their prestige is god-awful. And their military is okay. They're still, they're still at war. Army NCO training. Not bad. Um, in the meantime, I, we do want to get some more naval stuff here. Naval ship plans, probably. We really need to focus a little more on our navy so we can beat the Japanese, because that's all I want to take out next. I mean, we dismantled these guys. Belarus is here, too. Oh, Crimea exists too. Really? I mean, I only have one more goal in this campaign. And that's to destroy the Japanese. So, I hope we can make good enough navy to invade them. Shut it down? Yeah, might as well. Look how fast we're making that. All that money. We can't intervene because it's all as affair now. Weapons platform. Make it stronger, better, make them faster. Wow. That was awesome. I don't know why they need to give up India. Oh, hello. Women's suffrage. Well, we literally can't do that. Oh, look at that. Nice. There's something going there for us. Oh, yeah, we still have bureaucrats, too. I forgot about that. Austro Hungarian Ethiopia. Oh, hello. Oh, they're turning over colonies. Who well, there is in defeat of a colonial power. We're going to claim to one of our colonies they own or once again at the spotlight. The international community at large agrees that these colonies should be returned to the Qing government. We just need to take the necessary steps to get them back. Oh! Look at that! Oh, we got all this stuff! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I still have you here, that's fine. Here we go. 
Oh, I see you guys in your mind. They really should be our lands, but whatever. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, thanks for building the ports for us. I appreciate it. Wow. Ah, here we go. Chingini. Oh. Our diplomat secured his rousing success today in Peking as they managed to pry the rights of the colony of India during the last rounds of talks on the dismantlement of the defeated countries. The colony might rebel against the rule and fight for their independence, but our exclusive claim to it is sure to make other powers envious of Qing diplomacy. Treaty of London. Welcome. Ten infamy. Is that it? Oh. India's refusal. The colonial partition of our enemy was proceeding according to plan. The defeated nation agreed to our demands, and his colonies were being claimed by the victors. The Indian, however, refuses to cooperate. The claim was a right to self self rule, and they say it will not be exploited again. The envoys return to Peking with negative answers, and it seems the only way they'll get to India's colony through war. Alright. You make your choice. I mean, <laughs> do you not see all of our armies still around here? You have literally nothing. We literally besieged your entire country, and yet you say you don't want to be under us. How many more do we have to get rid of to get, make you learn this lesson, old man? We will have you, with you, kicking and screaming. We can remove nations from our sphere of influence. Oh. And we have indoor. And New Zealand? Well, does New Zealand even exist? Oh, well, all right. I I don't understand the Indians. What what a bunch of buffoons! Do you think they really have an option here? Oh, there goes all their money. It's fine, whatever. Man, we were doing so well on cash. But now they ruined it for us. Transfer the British colonies. Sure. British Calibri... Indian Ocean Territory. Samoa. Cairo. South Atlantic. Togu. And we're not getting any more infamy, so we might as well get all this stuff. Fiji. Solomon Isles. Why not? Um. That was up with the deficit. Kenya? God, I love this so much. Nice, good job, guys. And in the meantime, let's grab some more money. What is this? Libya? Um. We got room for it in the budget. Oh, <laughs> Jing Libya! We got Egypt! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, look at that, Belgium. Oh, do we have part of this too? No, it's our allies. Okay, that's the Germans. Okay, I'm like, what the heck? Belgium, Madagascar. Look at that. Somaliland. We got flipping Yemen. Oh my gosh. You know, we told them. I swear, man, we tried to tell them. They just n did not want to listen. Yeah, I think the next episode is just going to be us versus the Japanese. I, I just... We, it, it, we, we have to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh, you wanted to raise up an army, huh? Well, it sucks to be you. God, I love being an imperialist. No wonder we were taken out earlier in the campaign. Oh, France is a great power now again. Oh, who cares?
Hmm. All your infantry, huh? It's kind of weird. It's all right. I feel like I've done this before. Excellent. So we're really one piece out. <sighs> All they've done is ruin their own country again and again and again. How and why, I will not know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like a, a, a strong India, but still, military access they will not accept. You know, they go kill themselves. Don't they become kill you? How close are we, actually? Qing aggression? No, 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 this is Indian aggression. Actually, you know, what, what is what is the war goal? Straight up annexation? That sounds about right. You know what, I'm gonna retire you guys up here. They'll be fine. And we have it un under control, so... I wonder if we're going to see the Union of Britain. Oh, hello. No? Nothing. Okay. Forward? Sure, whatever. Don't care right now. Got more, some more Indian problems to deal with first. have you one way or another. Oh! Oh, look, so much better. Holy crap. The Malay Federation? Oh, my goodness. I love this so much. Oh, you, oh Portugal. There should be a way to say we want our stuff back. And they'll go to war them, too, in the next episode as well. The next episode will probably be the last one, anyways. Yeah, Austria-Hungary did really well. Germany was really disappointed in this campaign. I don't know about you, but I'm just taking over Chinese lands. Why are you resisting literate NCOs, huh? After this, I literally don't know where else we can sit you down. I think we have every tile. Yeah. And that's what I thought. Asian farms and mines? Yes, sir. African farms and mines? Yes, sir. Oh, they form the Raj. Well, that's kind of cool. Women's suffrage, but holy crap. Oh, the economy just boomed back up. But I think that's going to end us here for today because we've done quite a good job. Now, I'd love to take out each one of these. Oh, the Indian Raj. We have research points, prestige, military, non colonial. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, we could take out these. Oh, let's do that. I make it look really good. But I want to wait and just take out the. Why do we own this part of Africa? Oh, I love it. But yeah, I'll take out the Japanese. That'll be the next episode. The last episode. We just have to... Oh my gosh. Columbia? Rupert's Land? Mantis Confederacy? More land? Oh my goodness. But anyways, if you enjoyed the camp... The, not the campaign, but the videos so far. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you tomorrow. I'm going to take out the last global other power in Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.